Sharp came here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Now, let me tell you a story. A couple years ago, this old school guy, old school player, put me on some game about white women. Just white folks in general, but especially white women. He told me, man, at the time, it, some of the shit, you know, I was inexperienced. This is like after I got out the Navy. It's like 17 years ago. And he said, you know what, man, young buck, that's what he used to call me young buck. He said, when it comes to white folks, especially white women, he said, because we was at the job at the time. We were working together. He said, when it comes to white people, especially white women, he said, if you stay around them long enough, and if they get comfortable with you long enough, they're going to tell you some shit. They're going to put you on to something that you didn't know about. Or maybe something that you never thought about. And he said, man, you want to use that shit to your advantage. You want to use that, sh that information as intel. That's what you want to do. And he said, don't expect shit. Don't, don't expect. He said, don't. He said, look. Don't expect anything from the relationship y'all have at the job. And he went on to say, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to have the title of a relationship. And he and he went on to say that he don't have any white friends. And I asked him why? Because they never said we were friends. And he said he don't assume shit. He said he don't assume shit from the he don't assume shit and then he and he don't expect shit from them. You see all he do is soak up game because he said there's all you got to always have one white woman in your side pocket because the the way the world works today is they they're using your lack of information against you to take advantage of you he said that's how the whole world works today and this was 17 years ago when he said this shit to me. And at the time, you know, I'm inexperienced. And, you know, I haven't really been around as much as I've been to this day. You know what I'm saying? So he said, he went on to say that white women, uh, the closer and the more, more comfortable she gets to, you get to her. I mean, she has to like you so much. She's going to like you so much until she might even want to sleep with you, give you some pussy. But he said, hey, don't do it. Because that's when things get complicated when sex get involved. He said, what you really want to do is keep just being, he said, just be cool, basically. And he said, let her do the talking. And he said, he said, I can almost guarantee you that she's going to tell you something that might go over your head initially, but after maybe the next day or two, you'd be like, oh, that's what she told me at the job. Or whatever environment you might be into. So he's a use white women or white folks as intel. And when he said, he said, he said, when I say white folks, he said, I'm not talking about the redneck. He said, I'm talking about the people, the white people that are, maybe they have corporate jobs or maybe they're well off in some type of uh, industry could be tech could be real estate or maybe they might be a millionaire but he said hey 
You want to use these people, white women especially. But he said, hey, the more, the closer white women or, or the cooler she gets with you, she's going nine times out of ten. If you're a thorough guy, he said, just like you are, you're a thorough guy. You carry your, yourself in a respectable manner. You have a lot of self-respect for yourself, as I can see. He said, they're going to campaign for you and put their bid in for you because they that just can't help it. That's human. That's human nature. You know what I'm saying? Women like being wrong, the movers and shakers. doesn't matter what color you are or your religion, nationality, whatever. Women just like being around movers and shakers. They like being around thorough guys with a, with a mouthpiece, right? So he said, you don't want to fuck her. Don't do it. He said, it takes a lot of discipline, but he said, don't do it. You want to, you want to keep things just the way it is. See, and he said, what's going to happen is she's going to keep giving you more and more information. She's going to volunteer to do things because in her mind, it, she might have a chance to smash. But he said, hey, you want to stay disciplined and don't do it. So as an old school cat put me on to that shit, man. And he said, this, he said, this is how he deal with white women. Because he said, the way that the, you know, the average black person deal with white women is very different. Because he said, you know, they have this sisterhood thing going on in America, like, black women and white women are all alike and we supposed to stick together he was like yo that's just, that shit is garbage man he said it's not gonna go anywhere nine times out of ten you know because white women for the most part back then they weren't doing that shit i mean they're still not doing that shit today it's a small percentage of white women that are full-fledged 100 percent feminists a very small percentage but most of those women that were marching out there like a couple what a couple weeks ago now, a couple months ago now a lot of those women they have families they have husbands so they'll dip and dive into certain arenas in certain environments but a full-fledged feminist with no man single no kids those numbers are very small and in between you know I don't know many see I don't know many white women that are full-fledged feminists I, I don't I, I don't really know many of them. most white women I know are married or maybe she used to be married but they don't they don't go to college to get educated and be independent they go to college to look for a husband. Now, the rest of the non-white women, they've, you know, they've drunk the Kool-Aid. They've been bamboozled. They go to college because they want to get ed educated and be independent. White women go to college because they, they're looking for a husband. Because white women know, average white women know that they, it's hard out here in this marketplace. And they don't want to work for work until they 65. You know, I mean, take the best, take the most attractive white woman, you know. She doesn't want to work until she's 62, 65 and get a retirement check and live happily ever after. No, they, they go to they go to college because they looking for a husband. And this is what that feminist mindset have done to a lot of the non-white women because they bought into that they've you know they've been duped and a lot of white women will say one thing to non-white women and when they leave they're doing they're, they're doing some other shit so my man put me that old school player dude put me on some shit 17 years ago and it's still happening today it is you know they they they, it's just a lot of different events that's being promoted on television and seen on television and you got a lot of social media to date and 
ever before. But he said, man, this this how you should do that shit, man. Use white white folks, especially white women, as intel. Because the closer y'all get, the cooler they think you are. They're gonna they're gonna talk and tell you some shit that you probably never thought about. And and some of the shit that a lot of non white people we just don't know about. Because we're disenfranchised group of people and a lot of information used to be hidden years ago up until the internet came about so we're behind so you you have to do what you got to do to take advantage and use the information as a competitive advantage so that's how you deal with white women i mean f fuck what you heard about fucking and all that shit i mean this dick ain't this dick ain't free you know what i'm saying so shit that's that's game recognized game, baby. So tell me what you think about that shit. You know, so any questions, concerns, leave your comments, con comments below and subscribe. If you like what I like, what you heard, check out my blog, choose your Until next time, shop game is out. Peace.